Revo to me is by far the best suspension that I've ever ridden on, uh, comparing it to the progressives and the works, and the, obviously the factory stuff, but very smooth ride. Uh, we installed them on a, I would say, a mild performance bike, and I would say the performance with suspension complements the um, you know, package quite well. Cornering was excellent in it, and um, I found myself looking for bumps. We were going over the cattle guards and uh, you know different potholes just to feel you know, how nice the rear suspension was. A concern of mine was the performance out of it, but I was um, very surprised at the performance that we got out of it and still kept the ride quality, and to me that's the important part. Look, if, if you're up, not happy with your ride right now, which we know most of us aren't on a Harley, jump on the Revos. I call them butter. It's butter for your butt. It feels great. There's no chance that you're not going to be happy with them. Just, just give them a try. The ride quality is amazing. Uh, I had another brand of shock on there before, and once I switched to the Revos, the, the ride changed completely. Uh, no more tensing up before big bumps, no more worrying about what the roads are going to be like. If you see a hole, just hit it, you're fine. The Revos absorb all of it. You don't feel anything. The nice thing about the Revos is you don't have to do a lot of adjustment. I actually set it appropriately for myself, and it's actually still correct for me with two up or with luggage, and it really doesn't matter. There's no adjusting between rides getting to your destination and having to turn the shocks down again to be comfortable. You just don't have to do that. They're actually more comfortable than, than anything else I've ever ridden, even without adjusting them. I used to have uh, progressives on the bike, and when we put these on here at the rally, it has been amazing. It is, with a Sportster, a 99 Sportster, you can feel every bump in the road. Since I put these on, it has been such a dream. It's really more of a cruising bike now. I like the suspension because it is so, it's, it's a much softer ride. It, it still has the ability to go through the corners really well, keep it nice and tight. But when you hit those bumps, it's just, it blows everything that else that I've ever ridden out of the water. Definitely the handling is, is a lot nicer. You can actually feel it through the corners better. Um, with the shocks that I had on it, it was such a rigid ride. It was not cornering very well. You could always feel the, the tail end of the bike trying to slip out on you. With these, it really holds the road and it really, really handles much better than what I used to have on it. To pick these over another brand manufacturer, they're, they're the easiest to install. It's a good quality, made in America product, and it works. For the last several years, I've used Progressive 940, 944 suspension on the back of my bikes, and they were relatively good shocks. I had no complaints with them whatsoever. Last year in Sturgis, Jesse gave me a set of the prototype Revos to try. They're absolutely fantastic. They eclipse what I've been using for on small bumps and large dips in the road virtually disappear. No bottoming. If you do have any bottoming situation, you don't feel it. There's no jar. There's no punch. It's just a really good shock. You know the old saying, if you don't know any better, you don't expect any more. And that's what most of these people face until they ride something that's really good. And you have to find a rough road and you have to tell them, push the boundaries a little bit and they come back and go, wow, my, my stock shocks haven't handled like that and they always bottom out and these won't. One of the most overlooked parts of high performance is suspension, brakes, accessory items that will make the bike go faster, improve the handling, make the bike more fun, more responsive to ride. The Legend suspension stuff works really, really well. When you change the shocks, you get much better traction, you get much better handling and curves, you get much better straight line stability. You don't have any flex in the rear end or mushiness that you get in the stock factory air suspension.